If you want to create your own Instagram filter and use it as a branding tool, just keep on watching. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Natalia from Akaihana Art and for this community, I create videos about illustration, design, and creative planning in general. So if you like this kind of topics, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you won't miss anything. So we all know that Instagram stories have become the best place to show your community uh, the things that you do behind the scenes, your process, your life behind the business or the things that you do. So in this video, I'm going to show you a couple of filters that you can create to share that all that same stuff and create a way of branding it. For this video, we're going to be needing a computer with a Spark AR Studio. I'm going to show you how you can, where you can find it, how you can download it. Don't worry, it's for free. Also, you're going to need a mobile phone where you have a Spark Studio so you can try your own filters. Uh, you're going to have a Facebook account and also an Instagram account. Finally, you're going to need to do a last step and uh, that is to request that your filters go on the Instagram cloud. But um, if you don't want to do that and due to this is a branding, uh, filter that not many people are going to use because it's for your own brand you can use these filters directly on your phone on the spark studio record them there and then upload them on instagram or facebook okay uh finally and before we get to it i'm going to be using procreate to create the assets or the graphics for the filters uh, if you don't have Procreate, don't worry, you can use Canva, you can use um, Photoshop, Illustrator. You just have to be able to draw something or create your own logo or things like that. Okay, so without further ado, let's get to the Procreate app and start creating our assets for the Instagram filters. Okay, you guys, this is one of the image we are going to export. That is my logo. We are going to export this one as a PNG and also we are going to export a couple more like this one that has a iPad and my character in it. And also we are going to remove the background and we are going to export this one as a PNG. And we are going to do the same with this one. Perfect. Okay, to get a Spark AR Studio, you just have to Google it. The software is for free. You just have to download it into your computer and install it. It's very easy. It doesn't have to do a lot of stuff. So do this first and foremost. And also for your mobile phone, uh, you just have to go to the store and download the app and install it. Make sure you enable camera, microphone, and camera roll so you have access to all the media that you need. Also, you have to plug it to your computer for the player to see the filters that you are making. Uh, here is the Spark AR Studio open. We have a bunch of presets, a learn part where you have to uh, learn a couple of things to create your own stuff and we have a couple of a couple no a lot of preset uh, filters that you can uh, modify yourself perfect um, to create the first filter you have to do uh, use the 2d stickers we are going to click this one and when it opens okay you have to replace the part with what it says replace replace me so with the right click we are going to replace every single image with the image that we already exported uh click right replace 
and look for your images okay this one is very easy it doesn't doesn't have a lot of things to learn <laughs> we're just going to replace it and after we do this we export we try our filter in our mobile phone so we go here where it says test on device make sure you have your device plugged in to your computer and you you uh, says uh, you click and test and this is the testing part uh, here we have three counters and or three uh, to the stickers I really love them I like uh, to use it when I'm working on my iPad or making some work in progress images I really like to put these ones so my image is always um, remember there okay these are the images that I use for my highlights. These are um, abstract images and I really like this buy for my brand. So I'm going to try to do the next filters with um, a frames, with frames with the same uh, designs. So we are going to create three designs with abstract images. And you're going to see me working on them on my iPad Pro like this. For these uh, images, I'm using my pastel set. Um, if you're interested, I will leave the link in the description. Okay, now we're going to open this part AR Studio with a blank project. We are going to click right, add, and add a face tracker. Okay, in a, that face tracker, we are going to add a face mesh. This first part is going to be a face smoothing, so we don't see our um, little imperfections in our, our face. I like really like that part. On filters, we are going to remain that uh, rename that material as a smooth face, a smooth matte. Perfect. So right now we're going to change the type uh, as retouching and we are going to uh, move the retouching up to 40%. I don't, write, I don't really like to be that smooth. Okay, after this we already have our face smooth and we are going to be doing the filter for the um, frames. So we add a canvas and we click right and to that canvas we are going to add a rectangle okay for width and height we're going to set fill height and fill weight and we are going to add a material to that material we are going to rename it frames so we know which material is this one perfect 
Okay, now we need to import our assets uh, from our computer. So we have to add assets, import from computer, and we are going to add one of the frames, just one, okay? Open it and in type, we are going to change texture sequence and we are going to add the rest of the images. Okay, now we have to add another part that is a animation sequence. And to that animation sequence, we are going to add the texture that is our animation sequence or texture sequence. Okay, perfect. Now we have to um, click view, hide and show patch because all the frames are showing at the same time. So we have to add a couple of things to make it in order. So we add our canvas and we also add a tab. So every time we touch the screen, this is going to change the frame. And I also want to add a counter. So uh, every time we touch the screen, um, it rises the, uh, the frame count, okay? So we change the counter. So we change the frames. And we try it here in Simulate Touch. So every time we touch the screen, uh, the filter is going to change. Okay, now let's taste it. Let's try it on the iPhone. And here we have it. Look, whee, it's me. <laughs> let's touch the screen. Perfect, it works perfect. Oh, I really like this one. Great, we did it. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you find it useful and you were able to create your own filters for your brand using Spark AR Studio and Procreate. Before I go, I want to let you know that I have a bunch of products and tools to create illustration, designs, or digital planning, or printable plannings um, on my Etsy store. I will leave the link in the description down below so you can go and check them out. Also, I have a couple of branding videos. One is for creating your uh, YouTube banner in Procreate and also one for branding on uh, your Etsy store, if you have an Etsy store. Those videos are also going to be linked in the description so you, you can go and check them out. Okay, uh, that's it for this video. Thank you so much again for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!